I want you to stop and think about this scenario. After a long search, humans finally find aliens, and a close encounter is rather imminent. How does this make you feel? Scared? Excited? Or maybe even a bit of both? Our current search for life in the universe tends to forget about the impact of space on daily social life. This is very much a relationship that requires attention and serious scientific analysis. Whether we know it or not, there are social, cultural, and behavioral patterns related to the cosmos, or what we call the human dimension of outer space, or better yet, astrosociology. Astrosociology in its present form was established and introduced by Dr. Jim Pass in 2004 to fill a void in the social sciences that appeared nearly as expansive as the vacuum of space. It is a relatively new field defined as the study of astrosocial phenomena and is intended to make space research better balanced by adding a significant focus, which is the human dimension, to our understanding of space exploration and even other related areas of study, such as space societies, or more commonly known as space settlements and space colonies. The field of astrosociology emphasizes the study of the relationship between the universe and society sometimes referred to as the convergence between space exploration and humanity. Some major questions pondered in astrosociology are How are humans, right here and now, affected by what happens in outer space? How will we be affected by the universe in the future? And in the reciprocal relationship at the heart of the discipline, how do humans and our interactions, institutions, and belief systems affect space research, exploration, and the future success of off-world human settlements? So next time you look up at the night sky or ponder over the existence of aliens, tap into astrosociology and take the time to ask yourself, how does outer space affect me? To learn more about astrosociology, head on over to spacetv.net. For Space TV, I'm Mia Bell Frothingham.